This ASVAB PiCAD arithmetic reasoning practice test question says a class of 25 students took a science test. 10 students had an average score of 80. The other students had an average score of 60. What is the average score of the whole class? So in this case, we're going to be calculating a weighted average, which is going to be equal to the sum of the weighted terms divided by the total number of terms. In this case, uh, we know that 25 students took the test, so that's the total number of students. Uh, 10 of the students scored an 80, so that's going to be 10 times 80. Plus, well, if 10 students uh, got an 80 and the rest of the students got a 60, 25 minus 10 is 15. That means 15 of the students scored a 60. So by doing 10 times 80 plus 15 times 60, we'll have the sum of the weighted terms. And in case it's helpful, you may want to do this math off to the side so as not to make a mistake. Again, on test day, you will not have a calculator, but you will have scratch paper. Uh, you could start by doing 80 times 10 if you can't do that mentally. Uh, 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 8 is 0. Add a 0 placeholder. 1 times 0 is 0. 8 times 1 is 8. We can see that this is 800. So this is 800. Plus, if you can't do 15 times 60, uh, mentally do it off to the side. We have 15 times 60, of course. 0 times 5 is 0. 6 times 5 is 30. Add a 0 placeholder. 1 times 0 is 0. 6 times 1 is 6. This is 900. So we have 800 plus 900 divided by 25. 8 plus 9 is going to be 17. So uh, 8 800 plus 900 is going to be 1,700 divided by 25. Now we got to reduce this. Um, again, you could do the long division if you want, or you could reduce it by a common factor of 25. It's up to you. Um, I'm going to do the long division. I'm going to say 1,700 divided by 25. How many times does 25 go into 1 without going over? It doesn't. How many times does 25 go into 17 without going over? It doesn't. How many times does 25 go into 170 without going over? Well, it's either going to be 7 or 6 times. Uh, 25 times uh, 6 is going to be 150. So this is going to be 6 times. Uh, so this is 150. 170 minus 150 is going to be 20. And then we drop down this zero. How many times does 25 go into 200 without going over? That's going to be eight times. 25 times eight is exactly 200. So we have no remainder. So the correct answer to this one is the average score of the whole class is D68.